I was adopted when I was three months old to Willie Sr. and Flora Moore. I tell you what, everything that I am after God, I owe it all to Willie J. and Flora Moore. Uh, my mother's from Louisiana, my dad is from Mississippi, and uh, I call myself Willie Moore Jr. because, you know, Willie Moore Sr. is such a great man, and I just pray that I can be half the man that he is, and, and uh, I just thank God for my, my parents. But in 2008, we began to start the search for my biological mother. It was really cool. January 6, 2009, my sister Laura Winters, a young lady who worked at the Children's Home Society, she assisted me in finding uh, my biological mother. She called me and she said, Willie Moore Jr., we found your mom, uh, but unfortunately she just doesn't want to meet you. Um, I was hurt, uh, to be quite honest. You know, you spend your whole life after you find out you're adopted and you think, you know, one day you'll get with your parents, but my story um, wasn't like that. I began to tell my story, and uh, I told it in jails, churches, wherever people would let me tell my testimony. I asked the Lord, you know, you've given me so much influence on radio and television, like what is it for? And the Lord, Lord spoke in my heart to bring awareness to adoption. Right now it's 108,000 kids um, in foster care who are looking for homes. And I feel like nobody is being a voice to those kids who sit there every single day praying that they get into a stable home. And I don't think that's fair. In fact, when I first found out I was adopted, I had to ask my dad and my dog because it's more awareness uh, for animal adoption than it is for people. And I don't think that's right. So I've decided to be the voice for every kid in foster care um, and, and make sure the world knows that adoption is an option. Your parents may not have wanted you or they may not have been able to do the right thing or they fell in love with a certain habit um, that you were not a mistake. And I'm a living witness on the other side of this thing that God can do the unthinkable with anybody. He can take damaged goods and put it together and for his glory, he can use you. Like I'm just a little dude from St. Louis, Missouri who trusted God and everything. I'm transparent enough to tell you that, you know, it was tough when my mother told me she didn't want to meet me, but instead of me wallowing in my pain, I'm playing this thing forward and making sure the world knows that, you know, adoption is an option. Kids need a home and, and we got to get involved, flat out.